So it's been a really fun week lately because the sun is finally out here in Southern California. We've had some really bad weather week after week, and now it's time for things to clear up so we can go riding. It's still nice and cool before the summer heat comes, and this e-bike, the High Peak Elias, was sent to me, and I want to give a shout out to High Peak. Thank you so much for sending me this bike to do a review. It was such a blast, and guys. This is one of those classic frame styles that I think everybody kind of just enjoys riding because it's so comfortable and it's an easy step through, super approachable. It has a 750 watt peak motor on it and it's just a blast. It fits like everybody from 410 all the way to like 6'2". So there's a huge range and it's just a fun overall bike. If you're looking for a bike this summer to take for a ride and you're either new to e-bikes or even if you've just been around a while and maybe you want a second bike, but just something that's more fun, that's something that's foldable, stick in your car, stay tuned and check out this bike because the specs that I'm going to be going over and also just how fun it is, I think will really catch your eye. Also, Hypey comes with a lot of really cool colors. So check out the website. I'm going to have a link below. It is an affiliate link. If you guys do use it and you make a purchase, I thank you very much. It does support the channel. I do get a small little commission for uh, any sale that's made. All right, so let's get started with the review. Unboxing of the High Peak Elias was actually pretty easy. All I did was start with taking out, of course, all the accessories, pull out the battery, pull out the front tire. And as I finally got the frame out of the box itself, I put the frame on a stand to make things a little easier to go ahead and get everything put together. So what you're seeing here is I put flat out tire sealant in both the front and the rear tire to make sure that I don't get any flats on the road. And then after that was done, I went ahead and took off all of the styrofoam wrapping that was around the whole frame. It was packed really nicely and worked out really well. Put the handlebars on next, then assembled the front tire onto the frame. Took off some more of the other wrapping that's on there. Uh, then I put on the fender and headlight, make sure that that worked as well and put the battery in to test to make sure all the electronics were working right and that seemed to work out well. I then went around the bike very quickly to tighten all the nuts and bolts to make sure everything was good and we are ready to ride. If you're looking for a really awesome summer ride, this is the High Peak Elias, and it's a step-through model that uh, we'll be covering from front to back. It's also foldable, and as we're starting from the back first, you'll notice it has a nice rack, and we have 160 millimeter mechanical disc brakes, and uh, it's a fat tire bike, so we have 20 by 4 inch fat tires as well. And this bike is really made for you know riders from 410 all the way up to a 62 actually is the, the the height that is actually measured at and as front and rear mechanical disc brakes as you see here in the front we also have a quick release so you can take off this if you really need to make this bike compacted down stick it in a trunk or in i don't know an suv it'll fit really nicely and as we move up toward the front or the top of the bike uh, just kind of looking at this it has like one of those beanstalk neck that actually is foldable so you can really collapse this bike down quite a bit now it does not come with the water bottle bag holder that you see there that is something that you can find on the e-bike products website we do sell those but if you look at this we're looking at the throttle now this is a half twist throttle and it does go up to about 25 miles an hour i think i got it up to 24 and a half or so on thrust throttle alone so it does have that capability to go ahead and higher speeds here on the left side you're looking at the grip and we also have our bell that is all part of the bike itself as we are kind of going down toward the neck and as you can see it also has a uh, a fender this also comes with it the front fender does need to be uh, installed when it's put together this is a close-up of the fork we have front suspension and this is a lockout feature that's available on this bike and uh, i don't know what the travel is on the front fork it does a really good job on keeping the bike ride nice and smooth and here we also have our preload adjustments on the left side of the bike here 
where you can adjust the tension of the pressure of the front suspension. The front here, we have integrated headlights. So this bike comes with like everything you really need to, you know, just hop up, get up and go and really go for a nice ride. It has a nice huge battery with a 35 to 40 mile, like just throttle only range on it. We'll be talking a little more about that as well. Seven levels of pedal assist. Um, but what I was pointing to there is the actual headlight. You just hold that plus button on the top and the headlight goes on. Now it is midday while I'm filming this. So, you know, this is the only way I can really show you. I'm going to go ahead and hit that button again, hold it for a while and the light goes off. And that's it. You can turn it on and off as you wish. And with that, when the headlight goes on, so does the tail light. Okay, so here's the example of how that neck, um, that little red button there first is a safety for the latch. Then basically you can just pull that down and the neck will then fold over. And then if you want to put it back up, you just go ahead and hit that. So this is what it kind of looks like when you are bringing the neck down. And when it does come down, it makes the bike really thin. So the thing I like about this style of frame is that if you have a tight space like the garage and you want to put this up against the wall, but you don't want the handlebar sticking out. So this is just one of the best ways to have it really just even packed away, say in a, uh, an office or if you're going to put it uh, in your apartment. And you come and you you know you don't have a lot of space. You can even fold it even down more. But this alone makes it very thin, so the profile of the bike is not sticking out too far. You can put it up against the wall, like I said, in a pretty thin area. And if you even put on detachable quick release pedals, it'll make it even thinner. And again, that's what I really like about this style of frame. Just it's just a nice ride all in all. Very good feel. It's a step through, so very approachable to get your foot right through there to get onto the bike and off you know it's very quick very well balanced as well with the uh, center of gravity of that battery behind you or right under you in the center of the bike it makes it really nice there now we have our front big chain ring here and here's the quick release latch in the middle to go ahead and fold the bike in half there you also have a double guarded chain ring in the front uh, that'll help to protect the chain also get uh, keep your pants from getting caught in the chain as well and as we look closer back here, we have a seven speed Shimano gears to get you, you know, from your highest to your lowest gear here with a Shimano derailleur as well. So with that in the back here, this is a bike that actually can get you a lot of places. You can get exercise if you want as well. And it makes it a lot of fun. You also have this bungee cord strap on there. Now you see some of these Velcro straps that I put on there. Those are just my extra straps. This elastic bungee cord in the back will help to hold any jackets or locks as well. I just um, think it's just so brilliant how they have this these hook points already put on there. It's a simple accessory, but very helpful to have. Well, I'm pointing out here that the fenders are actually have their mounting bolts on the outside. So in case you do have or want to remove your fenders, very easy to do. Uh, there are a lot of bikes that actually put those bolts under by the tire. And that's the hard part. Now this battery here, we do have an on and off switch right on the battery. And if you see that little port below that, that is to charge the battery either on or off the bike. And this is a second adjustable point on the handlebars itself where you can if you're a little taller on the six foot side you can actually lift up the handlebars so that your reach is not you know bending you so far over and that's a really nice extra added adjustment that this bike has it just really helps to to make this bike more versatile for different size riders so it does have actually high load capacity as well you can carry up to 350 pounds max for the payload capacity on this so you know this bike at a 750 watt motor i believe that's the peak so 750 watt peak being put out on this bike being able to pull up 350 this bike actually does you know add to a lot of opportunities for many many different riders out there to be able to ride this bike here you have a bottle cage bosses if you do want to put a bottle cage right down the middle of the frame you can also do that as well i like uh, my bottles a little higher by the handlebars so that's why the water bottle bag is on there you can often you know there's enough space to even put a, a cell phone holder as well across the top next to maybe even the shifter. Uh, as we're looking back, we here's the battery lock release. Very easy and you also have a battery meter on the battery itself so that if you have the battery outside of the bike and you wanna know where it's at as far as charge level, it gives you a rough idea. Right now with um, two levels there, we have 50% you know, charge and it matches up with what we have as well in the front there. So there you can see what it looks like when just pushing the button, it does show that we have a 50% charge. And as you look at the top here, 
you can see that we have about, you know, it's a five bar on the, the display. So, you know, the two on the back with the three on the front, it kind of equals out to about a half level charge there. Now, just turning on the bike, you hold on the M button, powers it up. The up plus button, pressing it one by one, you see the PAS level start to jump up. It's not like one of the brightest displays. You have up to seven levels of PAS that you can use. And as you work your way down, you have all the way down to PAS 1. Now, I did notice something about this bike. The cadence sensors maybe are not as smooth as some of the others. So um, one thing you want to keep in mind is as you're pedaling, it will jump up speed. We do have mechanical brakes here. And you notice there's two cables coming out of the brake lever area. And that is because there is automatic cutoffs. As soon as you hit the brakes, that will shut off power to the motor. Here we see our Shimano shifter, the seven-speed shifter. I can really easy to go ahead and switch between gears up and down by pushing them on the levers at up and then push down inside. And here we go, our half twist throttle again and our uh, front brake on the right hand side. So taking a look at again, the back side of this bike, we have our integrated tail light and our 750 watt motor as well. Like I said earlier, I believe this is a peak, but it does put out a lot of power. It puts you up to 25 miles an hour. It does have a nice smooth pickup. It's not extra torquey where you're feeling like the bike's getting away from you. And then once it starts going, very easy to go ahead and get riding. It has, they have a couple of beautiful colors on this bike. So you want to definitely check out their website. And they also have a step over model. Taking a closer look, here are mechanical disc brakes. I don't know the brand of the brakes in the front, but they do work well. The seat that is, you know, fairly decent and comfortable as well. You know, these are the specs of the bike itself. As you can see, it's a nice ready to run really bright color and the yellow and red kind of a uh, interesting but i love it i love the way that it looks it really does uh, get people turning and looking at you and uh, i think this is a bike for summer or for starters or even for those that are experienced if you're going to be commuting it's a great bike for a lot of different people something to check out you can go ahead and check them out using the links below in the description those are affiliate links and i want to thank high peak again for sending me this bike to do a review it was a lot of fun big battery um, that gives a lot of range. Uh, you know, it's a 48 volt, 15 amp hour battery that uh, really does make sure that you don't have as much range anxiety now. A lot of bikes are actually going with a lot bigger batteries for uh, the convenience of being able to charge it once. It takes about five to seven hours to charge. It comes only with a two amp charger. So uh, keep that in mind. The battery itself is nine pounds. So it's a hefty battery because it you know, does have a lot of capacity. But it's a bike that I think you guys will like. You wanna check it out here. Again, use the link below. It does support the channel. It is an affiliate link. I do get credit if you do happen to pick one of them up. I'd love to hear your comments on it. And I will talk to you guys later and see you in the next video.